Hi, I'm Nasha Zafra, Solutions Consultant at Engage ESM. Welcome to this short video created by one of our experts to deliver a demonstration of a ServiceNow feature you might not be aware of, something which we hope will help make the experience of your employees, customers and end users just that little bit better. Are you a ServiceNow agent looking for an easy to navigate interface to help you manage your tasks, provide an overview of assignments to help efficiently prioritise your work, and help you resolve issues faster with experts on call and AI assisted recommendations. Today, Roxani Sophia, a technical consultant, will show you how with the Service Operations Workspace on ServiceNow. Welcome. My name is Roxani Sophia, and in today's video, I will be introducing the Service Operations Workspace for ServiceNow. We begin by first showing you how to access the workspace, log into your instance, and on the banner, click workspaces and then search and find service operations workspace. Upon opening the workspace, we are greeted with the landing page, which is tailored to your tier one and tier two agents. A tier one agent is an ITIL user who belongs in a service group, while a tier two agent is an ITIL user that does not belong in a service group. At the top of the landing page, we have the header, which informs you when the next on-call shift will begin, or if you're currently in the process of one, when it will end. Underneath that, we have the overview section, where you can find some level one cards that give you an overview of incidents, service announcements and outages to help you prioritize your work. Upon clicking anywhere on the donor charts, you have these level two cards appearing over here that give you each individual record in, and a few more details about it. You can use this card to open the records in a new tab, click the action menu to reassign, switch the information into list mode, and then finally open the list in a new tab. On the right, we have the upcoming section, quick links and recently viewed. On the upcoming section, you can see any tasks that need to be completed by today or tomorrow, overdue tasks, or incidents that have breached SLAs. And underneath we have the quick links where you can add URLs and also choose a display text for quick navigation. Recently viewed is similar to the history navigation menu and it shows you the five most recent pages you have visited on the platform. Now that we have finished looking at the landing page, we'll move to the list tab by clicking the list icon here. On this tab, you can analyze lists of incidents, catalog tasks, requests, problems, and so on, and take appropriate actions, as well as create separate lists or different versions of existing lists according to your needs. Upon clicking on list, we are greeted with a similar to the list view from the platform, where you can edit the columns to show more uh, fields if needed or change the fields shown, as well as create and add more filters. Clicking on a record on this list view will open it in a new tab. Let's open a record. This is the record view where you have a single panel view for your overview, details, comments and activity stream and so on. And at the top we have a ribbon with the incident short description, some key information, for example, the priority or the state, actions on the top right over here, so you can create a change request or incident task or report a knowledge gap and so on. And you can click on the details to have all a list of all the fields and information about this record. You can switch between the panel view to only display details, on display the comments and activity stream, or both. Here on the right, we have some more useful features, in particular Agent Assist, which is a smart AI assisted recommendation for say catalog items or knowledge articles that will help you resolve this incident or other relating, possibly related incidents and changes. Underneath the Agent Assist, we have the button to call for experts on call in case you need some expert advice to resolve this incident. The final feature that I would like to show you on the workspace is the multi-tab format. You may have noticed that when we opened the record, it created a new tab 
on the same page rather than a new tab on the browser. And you have two levels on these tabs. On the top level, you have the instant record and underneath you have the details. If you were to now open a new record, say, of the caller by clicking this tab, rather than making a new tab at the top, it does it at the bottom. So it groups together any related records and tabs. If I go back to the list view and want to open another incident, it will open it in a new tab. And as you can see, each incident has its own secondary tabs underneath for easy navigation between multiple assignments. This concludes our quick introduction to the Service Operations Workspace. For more information about any of its features, please visit the product documentation page for Service Operations Workspace. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it helps you to boost the ServiceNow user experience in your organisation. Watch out for other videos in this series and don't forget that you can contact us for further information.